Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm looking in on the 55 gallon half barrel blue. Have a look and see what's going on. Looks like the level on the leaf and the new paper bedding is, has dropped quite a bit. So let's have a look. I see that I have some pill bugs running around. Right about there. And there. But I don't see anything else bothersome. But today, I am going to fluff the whole bin. So this is going to be a project. If you remember correctly, if you've watched the other videos, and I'll link up here, but I had let this sit for about a month and it started to get a little musty smelling. So I'm going to make sure that I flip everything over this time and make sure that I'm getting air to everything so that it doesn't get anaerobic. Alright, I'm going to put you down and be right, right back. First things first, I'm going to move the new layer down a little bit and maybe... Let's, let's, look. let's look and see if we have a good worm ball here first from last time's feeding. Oh, looks like we do. Look at those happy little worms. They got some mangoes, lots of sliced up mangoes. And look at that, we were rewarded. They love their mangoes. I would say they like mangoes as much as they like bananas. So that's a good, that's a nice worm ball there. So I'm going to try and slide this down carefully so that I can make room to fluff the other portion. Alright, the original plan is to fluff up the entire bin and see what I get. First things first, let's look at fluffing up the old section over here. So I'm going to move down the leaf bedding, make sure everything gets a chance to get flipped over with that. Everybody's favorite sort of compostable bags. Lots of worm concentration in here still. Doesn't smell off or anything. So that's good. Then we've got this last portion from here over that is the second to the oldest. And we're going to see what that is doing. Just kind of invert it here. Lots of worms. It's probably about three quarters of the way done. This is mostly the paper bedding. Let's see, avocado out of there. It's the first time I've looked in on this in about a month. Just trying to let everything kind of settle. Thought maybe if I did not disturb them, they might get a little bit more done. And it is a little bit wet on the bottom, so it's good that I'm turning this over. It's not too wet, but I certainly wouldn't want it any wetter than this. Still a good amount of paper bedding. Worms of all different sizes. 
see. Yep, that is still part of the second oldest. Still seeing a lot of paper. I do shred up my cereal boxes and the like. So that is where we get the little flecks of blue. Pasta boxes, except for the windows. Make sure to cut those out before I shred them. So you still get those flecks that take a long time, probably two or three times longer than normal shredded office paper. All right, now I'm over here at the oldest portion. So let's see where I'm getting with that. I've been leaving the covering off of it to see if I can't get that to start drying out a little bit and maybe that will help the worms make the decision to leave the area and move on. It looks like I'm growing another avocado tree here. But I'm just going to flip this whole thing over. Probably go and put this on fast. You can see how done these are. These are very done, probably. I would harvest this if there weren't so many. If this was not a con wedge method, I would harvest this. This is definitely what I was going for. This is very well done as far as I'm concerned. Trying to invert the pile a little bit. The bottom was pretty, pretty wet. So I want to make sure that the drier stuff is on the bottom and the wetter stuff is on the top. Hopefully that'll help get more of it dried out. It does not smell musty like it did before. So that's good. All right, now I'm going to move this back over, making sure to flip it all up, moving any of the large pieces over as I go. I guess we can just move that avocado over there and it can continue on doing what it's doing. I am piling this up kind of high, but it will squish back down over the course of a week. All the air pockets seem to come back up. Now we're going to move back over <clears throat> to the middle area here. Okay, and we're getting into the leaf area here. <clears throat> going to move that up, up and over, flipping everything, make sure it gets enough air. You can see this is still all that leaf budding. here is the paper bedding, a little bit of the other items that I'm just going to try and move along so I can keep an eye on them. A 
looking at the really nice worm ball here in the banana. So I'm kind of incorporating a little bit of the new paper bedding in with that leftover leaf bedding that was over here. I think it will help both of them finish up. There's a lot of food in that paper bedding, so that might get them a little bit more interested in the leaf bedding. I still have my coffee filters now holding that little bit shut, little hole that I had from what it used to be a rain barrel. Burying all the food back under, getting everything ready, and I actually am going to feed this, even though there was a little bit of food left. I'm going to go ahead and give them some more paper bedding, and then a goo feeding. It was clean out the freezer day, so got coffee grounds. This is a pretty wet feeding here. I don't know if you can really tell, but there was some tapioca pudding that is more than expired. And some lemons. Some tomato, little cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put that on top of there and put some more bedding on top. Okay, that's pretty well covered up. Tuck everything in. So that wasn't a very big feeding. But here we are again. Got the oldest, it's been turned up. Then the second oldest. And then a little bit of a combination of the paper and leaf bedding that I incorporated together and then the new paper bedding with the new feeding. All right, guys. All there is left to do is cover it up with the bubble wrap and say goodnight to the worms. All right, well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not already a member of my worm family, Click that subscribe button, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a great day.